welcome and good afternoon to all students present in this video lecture so students uh, here the numerical number 1 is given that the velocity potential function phi is given by some certain expression so it is a functions of x and y and phi is looks like the x cube y by 3 minus y square minus x y cube by 3 plus x square and we need to determine the velocity components in x and y directions and we also need to show that the phi is represent a possible case of flow means it is satisfied the certain conditions then we can say that it is a case of possible flows so students first what we need to do uh, just we write the given function so here it is a phi is given so it is x cube y by 3 minus y square minus x y cube divided by 3 plus x square now students first of all what we need to do we have other definitions of uh, phi and we know that if we do the partial differentiation of this velocity potential with respect to x we have the velocity in that direction that direction means the u and if we do the d phi by dy then we have the velocity in y direction and that component we represent using the v so let we do the partial differentiation we do the partial differentiation with respect to x so what we get del phi by del x and the partial derivatives of this is a 3x square y by 3 is a constant minus y is constant so we have this zero minus x so differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 so we get a y cube by 3 and plus here it is a 2x similarly when we are doing the partial differentiation of phi with respect to y then we have this value that is the x cube by 3 and the derivatives of phi is 1 minus here it is 2y minus x is constant and y means 3y square divided by 3 and plus the x square is 0 so finally our expression for this uh, partial derivatives of phi with respect to x and y we have this is the 3 3 3 is cancel it out so here we get this as x square y minus y cube by 3 plus the 2x similarly here we get this is the x cube by 3 Minus 2y minus 3, 3 is cancel it out, so we get x into y square. Students, now uh, what we do? We have this the velocity component from this expression, so we have the velocity component u equals to the first one that is the x square y minus y cube by 3 plus 2x. And similarly we have the v that is the x cube by 3 minus 2y minus x square x y square so this is our first finding that is required uh, from a velocity component in x and y direction from the velocity potentials now we are going to solve the second so here just i am writing down the first one and now second is we need to check that this is the case of possible fluid flow or not so for possible fluid flow case either we need to go for the laplace equations or the uh, our uh, continuity equations so let's we check for any case of phi it will satisfy the laplace equations or the uh, we can say that it is the uh, continuity equations so here in this case we are taking the laplace equations so del phi square by del x square plus l square phi by del y square which is equals to 0 so now we do the differentiations of this uh, d5 by dx so we have this d5 by dx 
which is equals to the x square y minus y cube by 3 plus 2x. Now we do the again derivatives of the same. So del square phi by del x square means again we have to do the partial derivatives of this expression with respect to x. So here we get 2xy minus here it is only y so it is 0 and here we get the 2. So our final answer is the 2xy plus 2. Now similarly we do the differentiations of this uh, y. So del phi by del y we have this is the uh, x cube by 3 minus 2y minus xy square. Now again we do the partial derivative of the same expression with respect to y. So we get there is no y term in first uh, term so 0. Minus 2 is that. And here we get the minus 2xy. So we have minus 2xy minus 2. So if we put it down the value over here. So we have this 2xy plus 2. That is for del square x. Del square phi by del x square. Plus del square phi by del phi square. We get minus 2xy minus 2. And finally we get the 0. So which says that this Laplace equation is satisfied. Hence we can say that uh, with this phi expression the flow is possible. So in this way we need to solve the numerical. Now we are going for the next uh, numerical. So numerical number 2 is uh, the velocity component in the two dimensional flows are given and so that represent a possible case of E rotational flow. So here we have to satisfy the two things given data. The velocity components in two dimensional flows are u equals to y cube by 3 plus 2x minus x square y and v equals to x into y square minus 2y minus x to the power 3 divided by 3 so that this function represent a possible case of an e rotational flow. So students here we have first we need to check that the flow is possible or not and second things we need to say that the flow is e rotational or rotational one so we need to check the two different conditions but before going to uh, check these conditions we just do the differentiations of u and uh, v with respect to x as well as with respect to y so that we have the, both the components so let me take the first u equals to y cube by 3 plus 2x minus x square y and for v equals to x y square minus 2y minus x to the power 3 divided by 3. So here first what we have uh, we have decided that if this component of the velocity satisfied the continuity equation then we can say the flow is possible. So for two dimensional because here two velocity uh, components are given so we assume or it is given that is a two dimensional flow so we have to write the two dimensional continuity equations so two dimensional continuity equation and continuity equations we know that del u by del x plus uh, del v by del y equals to zero so now we require these two value of uh, u with respect to x and v we have to do the differentiation with respect to y so first the del u by del x zero plus 2 and minus here mm. it is 2xy now del v by del y means we have to do the partial differentiation of this expression with respect to y so here we get the 2xy minus this is the 2 and here minus we get the 0 so now we put down the value over here so del u by del x we have this 2 minus 2 x y plus this dv uh, del v by del y so we get 2 x y minus 2 so this is cancelled out as well as this 2 is cancelled out and finally we get the 0 which satisfied the two dimensional continuity equation so our conclusion is it is the possible case of fluid flow now second what we need to uh, check we need to check it is rotational or irrotational so here two dimensional is there so we are taking rotation about the z so rotation is 
omega z and omega z equals to the 1 by 2 it is the bracket del v by del x minus del u by del y so now what we need to do we need to do the differentiations of v with respect to x and u with respect to y so let me check the del u by del y Yes. now we do the differentiation that is del v by del x so we get this uh, y square minus 0 minus 3 x square divided by 3 so we get y square minus x square now we put it down the value over here so 1 by 2 del v by del x we have this y square minus x square minus del u by del y so we get the y square minus x square so finally we get 1 by 2 into the y square minus x square minus y square plus x square and finally we get the answer that is 0 and which shows that rotation is 0 means it is a case of irrotational flow here our conclusion is rotation is 0 so it is a case of E rotational flow. So in this way we need to solve the numericals. Now we are going to solve the next numerical that is a numerical number 3. So let's start with the numerical. So here the given velocity potential function is given and that is n x to the power 2 minus y to the power 2. Now and where n is the constant so n is a constant or it is a numerical value means it has a value like two three four five six like that but it is it should be any numbers so it is doesn't relevant with this uh, x square and y square so what first we do as per the uh, definitions of the velocity potentials that uh, if you do the differentiation with respect to x you get the velocity in that directions so it is uh, the u so let we do the differentiations of this with respect to x so here the velocity potential is n x square minus y square so uh, we get n is out of this uh, differentiation and x square is a 2x and y is a 0 similarly if we do the differentiations of this velocity potential with respect to y then we get v so again we do the differentiation of this velocity potential with respect to y so here it is n x square minus y square so n again is constant x square it is 0 and 2y that is a minus so in this way we get this two component u and v so u is 2 n x and v is minus 2 n y now first we need to check that flow is possible or not so we have this two dimensional flow so we write the two dimensional continuity equations so the continuity equations is del u by del x plus del v by del y equals to zero so let me check um, that del u by del x plus del v by del y so we need to do the differentiation of u with respect to x so we get the 2n and here we need to do the differentiation with respect to y so we get minus 2n so let me put down the value so is equals to here it is a 2n and here it is a minus 2n so we get the 0 so which says that uh, this potential function is satisfied the continuity equations and our conclusion is the flow is possible now second things we need to check that whether it is the rotational one or irrotational one so we are going to check second it is so we check the rotational rotation omega z which is equals to 1 by 2 in the bracket del v by del x minus del u by del y so now again we need to uh, check the value so del u by del y it is 0 and del v by del x again it is 0 so we get omega z equals to 1 by 2 in the bracket 0 minus 0 so we get the 0 
and it is says that a flow is irrotational now third from this velocity potential we need to find the stream functions value of psi from the value of phi so we know uh, this del psi by del x equals to dv perpendicular direction velocity and del psi by del a del y equals to we know that it is u so here it is minus v and here it is u so we put down the value of u and v over here so we get del psi by del x equals to minus of that is the minus 2 and y so here minus of minus 2 and y and del psi by del y it is u so it is this is 2 and x so we get 2 and x now we do the integration of this expression with respect to x so we have the value del psi by del x equals to the 2 and y now we do the integration of this expression with respect to x so here we get the psi and here we have the integration of 2 and y dy sorry dx we are doing the integration with respect to x so we get 2 and x y plus there is some integration constant and this constant is the function of y and that's why the differentiation of this with respect to s is becomes a zero so finally we get the psi equals to 2 and x y plus certain the functions of y or we can write as a constant so now to find it out the value of f of y we will make the use of the second equation that is the this equation that is del psi by del y equals to 2 and x and x so here we know that now psi del psi by del y so what we get over here it is the 2 and x plus here it is f dash y but we know that the our value of del psi by del y is only the 2 and x so now we compare these two value and from that we can say that this f dash y is equals to zero or the constant have a zero value or we can say that it is only the constant so finally our answer for psi is the psi is 2 and x y plus certain constant or it may be possible that the c has a value of zero so this is our a final answer so this is very important uh, numerical which is asked in our university examinations uh, thank you for attending this lecture thank you all.